Welcome back to Nippon Art Program. Nagai Bigakujiku, Yokoso. My name is Honjo Sadoko. Please call me Sophie. I will be your art interpreter. I'm the founder of Creative Journey Japan, an independent travel agency in Tokyo. Today, I'm at Nagai Art Gallery in Ginza. Let me introduce the owner of this gallery, Mr. Nagai Ryunosuke. Hello, everyone. In this program, I would like to invite you to join me as I navigate through the world of Japanese art. I have to say Nippon art. Nippon means Japan in Japanese. I hope you will discover more about the artist and their works and develop an appreciation for the rich world of Nippon art. I'm an art lover, but still so much to learn. So I hope everyone will enjoy these videos and learn along with me. Today, I would like to feature Kawano Tasuku. Kawano Tasuku spent his life painting in oils while making a living as a high school mathematics teacher for 25 years until his retirement at the age of 57. Oil painting was introduced to Japan in the 19th century after the country ended the 260-year policy of isolation. During Japan's isolation, art developed separately from the rest of the world. When Japan opened its border, oil painting was a completely new method for Japanese artists, which they had to learn from scratch. Kawano wrote tons of journals from which we learn uh, how he viewed the uh, complicated environment of Japanese art. He mentioned in his diary that he didn't want to get lost in the labyrinth of Japanese Western style art. He admired the old decayed earthen walls of the temples in Nara and the stained Namako walls, a wall covered with square tiles joined with raised plaster. He stated his style of painting is based on these walls. Interestingly, in 2020, Japanese second plaster work was uh, included as an intangible cultural heritage by UNESCO. Kawano aimed to create paintings which wouldn't feel out of place in a tea house. Tea ceremony is an art in Japan. At the tea houses, selflessness is valued. Everyone is equal and comes to find sanctuary in the tranquility of the tea house. To achieve this, he eliminated any intention from his paintings. He avoided adapting any method, though there was time when he was influenced by art in former Western paintings. He said, my paintings have no scenarios, meaning he didn't use any method and emptied his mind when painting just as is necessary for Japanese tea ceremony. This has led Kawano to develop his own original style of oil painting, influenced by Japanese culture. From this perspective, we wonder how the works of Kawano will be appreciated in the West. How will the works be viewed in Japanese modern art history? Kawano took inspiration in abstract expression through the experience of Kabe Kone kneeling of colors, like the mat in eastern walls which he learned at the Kabe School of Art, a Japanese group influenced by European informalism. He applied oil colors to the canvas, scratched away the excess and then reapplied more oil colors. The repetition of this process is the foundation of his paintings. Kawano developed this style and used it in his art during the last 15 years of his life. In Japan, it has been believed since olden times that a god or a joy-bringing spirit visits from afar from the divine realm. His description of things coming from over there is a similar concept to this traditional Japanese belief. Kawano was born in Miyazaki Prefecture in Kyushu in 1913. He lived in Korea with his father from when he was 8 to 14 years old. He won his first art award at 12. Apart from this award, 
there were at least three turning points in his life. The first one was when he failed to enter the Tokyo Fine Arts School after taking the entrance examination twice. The next turning point was discovering the Kavikone technique. He realized that he could construct pictorial space in his canvas without intentionally setting out to depict something. This was a trigger for him to stay away from the traditional figuring painting. Finally, when he was in his late 70s, he reached the stage where he felt free and liberated from any precious ambitions that still uh, lingered in his art and painted without ego or seeking approval. Kawano noted the contradiction in eliminating intention from his painting while he was in front of the, the canvas. While painting free from intention, accidental and uh, serendipitous things appeared on his canvas and revealed his inner sense of beauty, which made him feel a kind of wonder and freshness. Kawano had been absorbed in experiencing of uh, these feelings for more than 15 years until his death at 88. He called it things coming from over there, technique without intention, which is just like a craftsmanship. He may have preferred to be called an artisan rather than an artist. Now let's have a look at the works of a man who believed art is not about imitation but about letting beauty はい、それでは作品を、あの、一点一点紹介したいと思います。まず、こちらの作品、これ木地の壁というタイトルですけれども、あの、先ほどお話もありましたけど、非常にその日本的というか、この色は日本人にしか出せない、この土壁の色です
印刷物ではなかなか本当にこの深さが見えないでこれも何層にも重ねる中で最後に現れたこのいわゆる朱色といいますかですねこれが見事にその絵の具の、えー、集積の中で私たちに何か訴えてくる何かここから光を発しているようなね非常にこれも日本的な色ですしそこから感じる私たちに対するこの絵の,あの深さあの宇宙的なあの内容というものがよく見えてくると思いますね。So this work, my wall. Number eight、uh, is very vivid、uh, vermilion red. As he was a Japanese artist, he chose this particular、uh, Japanese color. So I wonder、uh, how much it is. これも、えー、晩年86歳の時の作品ですけど本当にここに至ったなという素晴らしい作品です。これ90万円ですね。Right. So、yeah, this work,、uh, at the age of 86,、uh, he completed. 900,000 yen. えー、次はですねこちらの作品これ「陰り」という作品なんですけれどもあの川野さんはですねずっとその茶室空間というものを意識されていましたその日本的な空間ですねでそこに描けるにふさわしい絵を描きたいというのを思い続けていたんですけれども私は非常にこの作品からそれを感じることができて日本の美意識のそのわびさびというものをですねこの絵から感じることができますねそういう意味でこの大きさも含めてですね非常にこう茶室空間にこれ床の間にがこれがあったら非常に何かここから何かあの得られるものがあるなという晩年に至った傑作の一点だと思いますね。The title Remains of the Day. 川野タスク was aiming at completing his work. The oil painting, though,、uh, he wanted to paint the work which fits the tea room of the tea ceremony Japan. And this one may be the one which、uh, fits the tea room. And uh, uh, the tea room requires the aesthetic beauty of Japan, wabi and sabi. So, it's very special work.、Uh, how much it is? これ6号という大きさなんですけれども45万円です。Yen. Any questions about Nippon art are welcome. So, you could purchase all the works introduced on these videos. Please feel free to contact with us. The link to Nagai Art Gallery is posted down there. And don't forget to read Sophie's Nippon Art Blog on Creative Journey Japan too. 最後までご視聴いただきありがとうございました。チャンネル登録をよろしくお願いします。Thank you very much for watching the video clip. Nippon Art, please subscribe it. 次の動画もお楽しみに。